Hey y'all, it's Anna. I am looking at a few specimens of Sterium austria. Uh, the common name for this is the parchment fungus. It is also often known as the false turkey tail. Turkey tail is a highly medicinal wood decomposer. Uh, you'll find it almost anywhere you have uh, hardwood logs, so very, very common in North Carolina. And you can make uh, tea out of them. You can chew them as gum if you're feeling adventurous. Uh, some people tincture them. There's a lot of really interesting medicinal research out there uh, that I encourage you to check out if you're interested in medicinals. Um, but Sterium austria is, um, a, you know, a lookalike for turkey tail and uh, you will find it oftentimes coinciding, like overlapping with or on the same log as turkey tail. So I'm going to show you how to recognize it so that you don't end up bringing it home and making tea out of it on accident. All right, so false turkey tail. <sighs> First things first, um, you know, the thing that makes turkey tail a distinctive fungus is, of course, it does grow on wood, but it also has uh, sort of concentric growth zones or variegated, uh, you know, concentric rings. And Sterium austria shares this feature. So, you know, from the top, they may appear to be the same, but they do have key uh, differences. The first of which is uh, parchment fungus gets its name because the undersurface is smooth and kind of brown like aged parchment. So if you want to imagine an itty bitty little Bill of Rights or Constitution written here, that's a fun thought experiment. Uh, but turkey tail, on the other hand, is a polypore. So if you had a turkey tail, you would uh, see a white undersurface with a lot of really fine little white, uh, fine pores where the spores come from. And so, uh, you know, if you were to handle it, it would be like uh, rubbing fine sandpaper. Um, Sterium austria, on the other hand, uh, it is very smooth. You could easily write on it. Uh, and so that, that, that's the key feature there. Um, additionally, this mushroom is way more uh, papery and brittle than a turkey tail. So typically a turkey tail has a little bit more flesh to it. Um, additionally, the uh, top of the mushroom has uh, some different, you know, different features, essentially, uh, from turkey tail. Got a lot of traffic. Urban mushroom hunting is the best. All right, well, I'm just gonna yell over the roar of the success of Western civilization and uh, finish my remarks on this. So, um, sweet. So turkey tails uh, are kind of furry on top. Um, so, you know, these variegated growth zones, they'll often be uh, green and brown and uh, kind of furry and soft. On the other hand, uh, sterium on the top and bottom is smooth. So that's another, you know, if you give it a little pat on the head, uh, it'll be very smooth as opposed to furry for you. The final thing, and this is not uh, super reliable, but if you've gone through all the other stuff, um, the coloration of sterium is uh, typically a bit different from turkey tail. So turkey tail, they start out kind of a bluish green oftentimes. It's very, very pretty. As they develop, they take on brown tones and, uh, you know, the rim, the outer rim is very white. And uh, so it really does look like uh, turkey's feathers with the white tips. On the other hand, uh, Sterium austria, when it's young, is very frequently bright orange uh, or orangey brown. As it ages, it can uh, dull out to this dun color, and that isn't always the case with that mushroom, so with this mushroom particularly. So, uh, that said, you know, main things it's nice and smooth, not white or porous underneath. It has variegated growth zones, but uh, they are not furry. And uh, on the whole, this would be way better for uh, documentation than making into medicinal tea. That's all I've got.